Jack Campbell's under more pressure than Jameer Gibbs. Jameer Gibbs. Yeah. Don't agree at all. Don't agree at all. What was, I mean, what was yours? Jack Campbell. Why? Because he was brought in to be the guy to fix this defense. He was your big defensive thing. You talked about all of the Lions fans before three weeks, even two months before the draft, were saying defense, defense, defense. We need defense. We might need defense in our first three picks. And what did they do? They didn't get defense in their first three picks. They got two offense and one defense. And that one defense was Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell, and I know the arguments with Jameer Gibbs, oh, first-round pick, running back, it's bad positional value. Well, what else is bad positional value in the first round? Linebacker. And he was pick 18. So six picks away is not much of a difference. Jack Campbell is, you, you don't pick a guy. I saw people in the BDE chat saying, oh, he's just to shore up their linebacker core. You don't draft somebody in the top 20 to shore up a core of your team. You draft someone in the top 20 because you think they're going to be a star in this league. And Jack Campbell is that defensive guy they brought in to be a star. Because last year, as Neil put it, the defense is the reason the Lions didn't make the playoffs. Against Carolina, a game you needed to win to make the playoffs or to continue to keep your playoff hopes in your hands, the defense didn't show up. And Lions fans know that the offense was the far more productive side Lions of the ball. Fans. Lions fans! And so you bring in Jack Campbell, and the pressure is on him because he needs to be a stud. He needs to be a hit. He was drafted number 18 overall. You need him to be a guy. I think he's going to be great. I think he's going to be a great player. He's got all the makings of someone that will be a great player, a great linebacker in this league. But the pressure's on him. Because that defense was bad last year. No and way. You can say what you want about, oh, the last 10 weeks of the season, the last uh, second half of the season, well, they still bottomed out as a, as a bottom five defense in the NFL. So the pressure's on him to succeed because he was that piece that they brought in to help stop the run. Yeah, they revamped the secondary, but they didn't do anything in that front seven other than bringing Jack Campbell. This answer is Jameer Gibbs. I love you. All that's to the wayside when it comes to a running back. Like you said, linebacker is like the other one. But the one, like the cardinal sin that everybody's kind of agrees on across the board is drafting that running back in the first round. That's the one that everybody feels icky about. Not only that, in, in a way with the Jameer Gibbs pick, you can almost look at it as like you pass up on Jalen Carter for it. You pass up on your guy and Russ's guy, Christian Gonzalez, for it. Jameer, and, and on top of that, I mean, there's multiple names. Look go down the list of names you pass up on, in theory, over for, for Jameer Gibbs. Mm -hmm. But you already had, in essence, Jameer Gibbs with Swift. That, that, that's the role. But he couldn't stay on the field, and he was in the last year of his deal. For sure, but you had it. it when, he, when he is, like that, you know, that, there's a theory if he stays healthy or not. It's a contract year. That's theory that he you will know, outperform anybody in his contract year because he wants the big money and prove they could play in the NFL like this year more than any other year. But you, you had to give up Swift for it. Our compensation, I was fine with it, but you also gave him to a contender in the NFC. So if you want the Detroit Lions to, to, to you know, win out and go to the Super Bowl, that, that's a team you're more than likely to have to see at some point in time. The, you know, the Eagles are, are bolstered with talent. You kind of helped them out with both Jalen Carter and DeAndre Swift after the draft. But you had that. You, you, he was already performing for you in that manner. Mm -hmm. Like, Jameer Gibbs, that's what you expect out of him, but it's still very much a question mark if you do it to like, at this standard in this league. Now, that's the one pick, too, that I go back and forth on. I was more content with the Jack Campbell pick because it is at 18, and it is defense. And that, that's another point, too. You wanted them to go defense, defense. Instead of going defense, they chose this guy.